Hello everyone, John Robinson here, Power Technical Consultant for Eastern Nebraska and Western Iowa. Today, we're going to talk about multi-drive. Multi-drive is a feature of component class PowerFlex drives that allows one drive to serve as an RTU master with up to four follower units. This allows one IP address and Ethernet connection to serve multiple drives by way of their DSI ports. In order to accomplish a multi-drive setup, you will need one of these, a terminal block adapter kit. Said kit comes outfitted with five terminal ends, which allow for transmission and reception of drive data, as well as two 120 ohm termination resistors. To assemble the kits, take the terminal ends and install a conductor of your choosing. I am using 18 gauge yellow as I did not have any orange or blue on hand. War Eagle. The two end terminals will need to have the 120 ohm resistors installed with the conductor as shown. Do not skip this, as the system may not work well without them. Since we only have two drives for our example, we will use resistors for each of our two connectors. Our cable is open air. But if signal noise is a concern, then a shielded cable should be used. And no, you do not need to cut yourself to accomplish any of these tasks. Plug the cables into the drives when they are off or a comm error may occur. Once the physical setup is complete, program your drives according to the directions that may be found in the user manuals for your drive, or by going to the Solution Consultant website and taking advantage of the VFD main help page, links provided in the description. Once your drives are configured, you may access them with either Connected Components Workbench or Studio 5000. All parameters for each drive in the multi-drive setup are accessible with either program. Also, individual programming for each drive in the multi-drive setup is possible using Studio 5000. To show you how well this works, here is a demo of the system at work using an HMI as a control interface for the two drives. You will notice that both drives respond to the start commands, the speed adjustment commands, as well as the commands to reverse directions and to stop. And that is a fine example of a multi-drive setup, if I may say so. And to wrap things up, here are the pros and cons of multi-drive. Pros, lower hardware costs, only one node needed for five drives. Reduces the network node count. For example, 30 drives can be connected in just six nodes and the PLC controller can control, monitor, and read and write parameters for all five drives, in case you wondered, and the cons. Loss of the master drive will lose communication to all drives. The follower drives will undertake the com loss action programmed. Communications throughput is slower. Drive communication is sequential through one node. It takes up a DSI port on the follower drives, and you cannot use a splitter cable when in multi-drive mode for a 1203 USB or a HIM module. And finally, Automatic device configuration does not work when in multi-drive mode. Thanks everybody for watching. I hope that this serves you well as a great overview for multi-drive capability. Don't forget to like and subscribe and have a good one.